What's up everybody, Dan from the Headwaters Kayak Shop, and I am out here at beautiful Lake Lure in North Carolina, uh, outside of Asheville, and this week I'm going to be doing a little bit of a road trip, vlog style video, but I'm also going to be doing a bunch of reviews. I'm here at uh, the Lake House for Feel Free Kayaks and Three Waters Kayaks, and I'm going to be checking out the new Big Fish 108, I'm going to be checking out the Johnny Boat with a motor, a few other setups, and uh, just showing you guys around, testing out some of the new stuff. So follow along, it's gonna be a good time. It'll be a, probably a series of videos that you'll be seeing coming out. Here's the marketing boys. They're gonna go out there and actually do legitimate video work. Me, I keep it old school with the cell phone and the X grip. This is Joel, up, Denver. And there's Lane out there playing on the Johnny Bass. All right, you guys. So now I'm out here in the Big Fish 108. This is my first pedal in this boat. And first impression is it's big. Give you guys a little idea of the deck layout on this Big Fish 108. It's massive, you guys. Nothing I've seen on video has done it justice for just how voluminous this thing is. We just had two guys standing on it and uh, still totally stable. Um, massive, massive secondary stability. So as we're looking at the boat, this is the meat and the potatoes. This is the drive here. And the difference with this drive from any drive that I've ever seen is it's chain driven. So there's a gear up here. It runs in oil. It actually floats. And then it goes down to, uh, to the prop fairly easy fairly smooth you've got this little eight ball control here push to the left and it comes around super smooth <laughs> hell of a deal there you go. ah this is the life so this lake i'm on is actually just a uh it's kind of like a reservoir it was created as a recreational lake um houses all along it definitely resorty type vibe but really really pretty especially right now in the fall so nice so i've been in pretty much all the feel free pedal drives now and this one definitely feels the smoothest the drive isn't as loud as the other drives it just feels like it's less effort to move it across the water i think it's more about ease and maneuverability than it is about speed on this boat it's just like any kayak the longer the boat is, the narrower it is, the faster it's going to go. The wider the boat is, the shorter the boat is, the more maneuverable it's going to be, but the slower it's going to be. So just like in the Titan range, the Titan 10.5 may not be the fastest boat, but it's super maneuverable, really easy to fish out of, and that's what a lot of people like about it. To me, this is going to be in that same ballpark. One thing I'm really liking is the seat that they're using. It's the same seat that they have on the Johnny Bass 100. Uh, same seat that they're using on the new Moken version 2.0. And it's just got great lumbar support, great back support. It's got a good adjustment there. You can see I've got all these notches to go forward. I pretty much max it out at 6'2". I have it all the way in the back position. But with that said, when my legs are out, they're fully extended out, so plenty of room. Try to kick it up a notch here and see how this prop goes. See if we get any cavitation as we uh, reach hole speed. That's not bad actually, either. The prop's not cavitating. It actually feels like it's cruising along. Cruising along pretty nice. Again, it doesn't feel like it's crazy fast but it definitely feels really efficient especially if you compare it to a big fish 105 which i gave a three out of ten i'd probably give this one a six out of ten so i'd say at least twice as easy to pedal as a big fish 105 is to paddle so it takes all like the really great things about the big fish the stability the comfort the ease of maneuverability then it adds to a boat with a pedal drive a super simple easy to use pedal drive feels smooth doesn't feel clunky. Oh, this place is incredible. All right, I'm gonna get a couple shots outside the boat so you guys can see how this thing maneuvers and handles. So you guys, I was just out last week testing out the Pro Angler 
let me get in here. I was just on the water last week testing out the Pro Angler 12 and I had a non-360 and a regular 360. And the 360 was, if you watch her review, you knew I was, I was thoroughly impressed. But the non-360 just felt a little slow, a little cumbersome. I would say this boat feels as stable as a Pro Angler 12, but definitely has better maneuverability, control, and dexterity. I would still say the Pro Angler is a little bit higher quality, better made, but I mean, shoot, it's over double the cost. So at $17.99 for what this boat gets you, the stability, the maneuverability, uh, the efficiency, I think it's gonna be a really solid option for somebody that wants to get into that pro angler level boat, you know, as far as stability, you know, being able to stand, move around, do whatever, but also want something that's affordably priced. That's where this niche is gonna be carved out and I think this Big Fish 108 is gonna sell incredibly well. We're gonna be getting our first ones here in a month or two and we'll be doing a bunch of extensive testing. I'll also be giving it out to some of my fishing team for them to put it through their paces to give their feedback on their YouTube channels and uh, hopefully get you guys some more content. But all in all, as a first paddle out, I'm super impressed. I'm having fun with it. It feels really stable. You guys wanna see a stability test, don't you? All right, let's, let's see if we can't get with the old head stand. I know we can on this one. This thing's ridiculously stable. Oh, sweat. Yeah, you guys. I'd say the stability on this one, man, I'm going to go ahead and give it a, a 9 out of 10. Maybe there's something more stable, but I don't know. I would say it's as stable as my Titan. I would say it's as stable as a Pro Angler. It's on the upper end of stability on all the kayaks. It would definitely fit a 300 pound person, no sweat. This thing is just massive. If you were to size it, I would say this is the, the triple XL version of the Big Fish family. And it's actually dry, even jumping up and down. <laughs> a little bit of water in the tank well, but all in all, the deck stays pretty dang dry. I'm excited. I'm excited for this. I think this is really going to get a lot of new people into the sport, into a pedal drive that maybe otherwise wouldn't be looking at a pedal drive. So again, you guys, this is just kind of a quick paddle, my first time in the boat, giving my initial thoughts, initial impressions about who this boat might be right for, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Some of the things I don't like about it is, is if I'm being honest with some of the pieces and parts, a little bit more inexpensive build layup. The, the, the boat itself, the plastic on the boat itself is quite burly, but some of the pieces and parts are a little bit more budget minded, I would say. I mean, it's, there's a reason it is a couple thousand dollars less than a pro angler. Um, but with that said, as long as the stuff holds up like it has on the big fish, I don't really mind a little bit less expensive option. We want to get entry level options to get people into the sport and get people fishing out of these pedal drives. So overall, would I recommend this to a customer or to a friend? Absolutely. I'm really impressed with the drive, first and foremost, how this boat is so big and so massive, yet it still feels light and nimble on the water. Um, my downside, I would say, would be the speed. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 on my fishing kayak scale. Uh, I would say it's about as fast as a Titan 10.5. But it just feels, it just feels light and nimble on the water. I really, really enjoy the way it pedals. Compared to like a Big Fish 105 or a Big Fish 120, it feels a lot easier to pedal it than it does to paddle it. So my final thoughts, if you're looking for a pedal drive kayak and you want something that's max stability, uh, you want something under 2,000 bucks, you want to, you know, say you're a bigger guy, you want to be able to bring all your gear, you still want to be able to stand, I think this is a really good option for you. It feels way crazy stable. I think anybody will be able to get into this boat and stand up. You'll be able to step in it off a dock, be able to stand right up, not think about it, and, uh, and be totally confident in your stability. Overall value for what you're getting for the money. Again, long-term reviews will tell us more about that, but my initial thought, $17.99, I gotta give this thing a really good value score. So I'm gonna give that I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10 as far as value. As always, don't take my word for it. Find a local dealer that has these. Go to 3waterskayak.com. Find a local dealer near you. And try to get on the water and test it for yourself. Just stop and appreciate how freaking pretty this place is. So is there going to be, Jim, I'm going to ask you right now. Is there going to be a bigger Johnny? Can we expect that in the future? Yes. All right. There you guys. You heard it straight from the horse's mouth. We headed to Thailand to paddle with Peter over a bunch of weeks. All right. Paddle it, motor it. I'm gonna go over and get a picture of Lane. Lane's actually out there doing some video work too. He's checking out the Johnny. 
Bass 100. He's got the two and a half horsepower Suzuki. How is that thing, man? It's peppy. It's peppy? Peppy. <laughs> and you also got the center pod motor. How's that working out? Yeah. Um, well, I control uh, faster than they can. Yeah? yeah? And you got the eight ball steering, basically just the same thing like I have here, yeah. but he's got it set up to, uh, to steer his trolling motor. Racing these guys back in the boat. <laughs> Yeah, this thing's not slow for its size, man. No, I thought it like a much narrower boat. For sure. How wide is it, Jim? 38. All right, cool. I was right. But it, it paddles like it's 30. Yeah, it definitely feels, especially coming from paddling a big fish, where I gave it like a 3 out of 10 speed. I gave this one like a 6 out of 10. So much easier. Yeah, the turning radius on that thing is pretty sweet. Yeah, just <laughs> Yeah, it's awesome. It drifts out just like you want. What I didn't do, you guys, I didn't show you how all this worked. So this is the uh, the release mechanism here. I should have somebody to show me. I've actually never done this. I've only seen it on YouTube videos myself. This is like the little pinch bolt that holds that all in. And then you've got your prop indexer. You pedal till the prop hits. I think you flip this. Hey, hey, YouTube for the win. And then that comes up. The nice thing about that, you get weeds or something caught in there. Really easy to grab and pull that out has a fairly tight tolerance in here, so you shouldn't be getting weeds wrapped around your prop too much. Definitely a slick setup. And when you want to lower it back down, simple as that, you drop that thing back in the water, pop that in, tighten that down, and then flip this lever, and that locks the drive in super solid to the boat. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for me today in the Big Fish 108. I'll be fishing off this thing all weekend, so maybe I'll get some more videos. If you guys have any questions, leave those for me down in the comments. I'm gonna go back to you as soon as I can. Until next time, you guys, this is Dan from North Carolina wishing you happy paddling. We'll see you on the next one.